Hello and welcome to another Tim's Bit or Trending Topics. Uh, so glad you can join us. This is being recorded on March the 4th. Uh, and so uh, it's just a privilege to come to share a, a few thoughts from the Bible in relation to some current topics, hopefully to encourage you. Let's pray together. Lord, we thank you for your word. We thank you for your promise to be with us always in the good times and the tough times. And we pray, Lord, that this time would be a blessing to you and a help, and a help to all who watch. We pray it in Jesus' name. Amen. Oh, man. Well, I'm sure we're well aware that these days many people are struggling with mental health issues of various kinds. Some of them quite severe, some of them just, you know, getting tired out, uh, struggling. Uh, of course, that's always the case that people might have uh, battles with depression or fears. Uh, um, unfortunately, in this culture, we're finding so many people struggle with suicidal thoughts. Our hearts go out to them. But especially during COVID, with all of the isolation that many of us are experiencing, perhaps a tendency to fear and find the news overwhelming, um, just to feel cut off, maybe worried about finances, uh, people are struggling. Maybe you're struggling. So I hope this time is a bit of an encouragement to you. We know that these issues are not necessarily simple. They can be a, a, a profound challenge, actually. But I just want to share a few thoughts that I hope are helpful actually over these next two trending topics uh, on how we as Christians can cope with uh, life's troubles and life's hurts. The uh, first thing I want to say is that uh, having emotional or mental struggles at times, uh, they can happen to anyone including to Christians. Um, here in Psalm 42, in verse 5 and the same verse is repeated in verse 11 and again in Psalm 43 verse 5 the psalmist writes why are you cast down O my soul and why are you in turmoil within me hope in God for I shall again praise him my salvation and my God my soul is cast down within me therefore I remember you see as Christians uh, you know, sometimes we may feel a pressure that we're always supposed to be happy or joyful. But the truth is that we're human beings. And we can be affected by our body chemistry, by things going on in our lives, things going on in the world. Of course, we have a source of hope and joy. We'll talk more about that next time and a little bit today uh, in the Lord. But uh, we're still human. We're still prone to these things. And so uh, I, I hope that we can let go of, for ourselves or others, any stigma or any sense of shame or guilt if we're struggling with depression or fear or other issues. And that it's so important for us to be honest with God, just as the psalmist is here, talking to himself, but also talking to the Lord and laying bare his soul. Uh, and, you know, God knows anyway what we're going through and what we're feeling. I love the prayer that starts our communion service. We call it the Collect for Purity. Almighty God, unto whom all hearts be open, all desires known. God knows our hearts. And so we can come just as we are. We don't have to pretend. We don't have to be fake with God, certainly, and hopefully with each other as Christians. Because, and the second point I want to make is God does understand and he does care for us when we go through, as it says in Psalm 23, the valley of the shadow of death or any valley that we might go through. I love that Isaiah 53, pointing ahead to Jesus, speaking of Jesus, says he's a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. And if we think about Jesus' own life, we know that he experienced grief. For example, at the grave of his friend Lazarus, even though he was going to raise him from the dead, or the sorrows that he went through, certainly leading up to his cross. The book of Hebrews says he's able to sympathize with us in our weaknesses, and he has compassion over and over again in Scripture. God's compassion is underlined. He cares for us, and he understands when we go through hard times. Uh, so we're invited in the scriptures, and I want to invite you to do this, to give God our sorrows, not to keep them to ourselves, 
but to share them with him. That Isaiah 53 chapter that I was just mentioning, it goes on to say in verse 4, speaking of Jesus, he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. So the picture is that as we're carrying a burden, he invites us to pause and to hand it over to him. In Matthew chapter 11, Jesus says, Come unto me, all you who are weary and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. And so just in our prayers, and we might even visualize it, to say, Lord, I'm, I'm hurting about this, I'm upset about, about this, and, and whatever it might be, to name it, and to say, and I, and I just give it to you. And to allow ourselves just to maybe even feel the feelings. If, if, if We may not be strongly emotional about something, or we might be. It might lead to tears. Uh, however, it, however it is that we can honestly share what we're going through with the Lord and share it with Him. Cast all your cares or anxieties, it's sometimes translated, on the Lord because He cares for you. 1 Peter 5, 7. And when we do that, when we just pour it out to him, pour out our hearts, uh, and then we can pause and there can be relief just in letting it go. But also we can ask him, and we may well experience this even tangibly, we can ask him for his peace in return. My peace, Jesus says in John 14, I give to you, not as the world gives. So take a little time just to rest in his peace, having poured out your heart to him. Also, of course, one of the ways that God's works is through each other, through human beings. So it can also be a help to share our troubles with other people, with other Christians, and that they can share them with us. Uh, the Romans 12, it says, Rejoice with those who rejoice, but it also says, And weep with those who weep. It can be a help to share our hearts with other people and to talk with friends and to share uh, and, and if it's helpful, and sometimes it is helpful and a really good idea to talk to a counselor, especially if it could be a Christian counselor or a pastor uh, or a, a mature Christian, someone who will listen. I think listening is the most important thing. There may be a time for some advice and help and suggestions. We can talk about that next week, things that we can maybe do to help. But it starts with just being able to share with someone who cares and someone who will listen. And maybe sometimes we'll be called upon to be listening ears uh, and a listening heart to someone else who just needs to share what's really going on. Again, it's my hope and prayer that we in the church, that we're not pretend, we're not fake, we're real. We can be real with God and real with each other and pray for each other. You know, Jesus said uh, when he preached the first time in the synagogue uh, in Luke chapter 4, uh, he quoted from Isaiah 61 uh, for describing his mission. And he said part of that mission was to bind up the brokenhearted. So if you're feeling brokenhearted for any reason, maybe it's the loss of a loved one, or again, just getting really tired out in this season of COVID, bring all those things to the Lord. Maybe we can even do that right now on a little prayer. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you that you know all that we go through, the good and the bad. You know our hearts. You know us better than we know ourselves. But Lord, if any of us who are watching this are going through a tough time, Lord, we just want to pause now, be honest with you about that, pour out our heart to you. We thank you, Lord, that we don't have to bear this pain alone that Jesus on the cross, you bore not only our sins, and thank you for that, but also our sorrows. Help us to share them with you. And would you in return, pour out your peace upon us, strengthen us and reassure us by your care and concern and love. Help us to reach out to other people as they reach out to us. And most of all, may we abide in your love and peace. 
through this season of COVID, through the times of trial, and always. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Well, thank you for joining us, folks. Again, if we at St. Luke's can be of any help to you in your journey and walk, uh, just let us know. And uh, we'll look forward to seeing you next time when we'll share a few other thoughts about uh, going through tough times with the Lord. God bless you.